Okay, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make or how to add road and auto gen textures for photo scenery. You're going to need this file and a couple others just because this one doesn't work amazingly well in deleting all of them to make it look as good as it can. There's like little blue textures and weird things that are everywhere. It just doesn't look good at all. So I've made my own files and that you can use to make it look good. Like people, that that's just me saying thanks, but people are saying like it's really hard, they're confusing, so I'm going to make a video about it. So download the file, well, that's all my downloads, but download this file, so if I go to my download history, it should be on there already. Alright, so when you get it, it should look like this, when you've downloaded it. So, hit that download button and you'll get a file like this. The only files you'll need is this one and this one. You can forget about the top one, you don't need that. So just, um, this is just my X.11 folder, so just take these two files and put them to your desktop here. There you go. Okay, that's all you need for that. And then if we go back to Google, the second folder you'll need is Photo Scenery Autogen, which basically does this. See that? And when you install this one for the roads, these, the driveways of these houses will be on the road and won't look good. It'll like fill up the road with driveways and they'll all go this way and that way. It doesn't look good, so you'll need this one to alter that. So download that one which should come like this. Like this and then this is the file. You just want to put this onto your desktop as well. Right there. And let that load. So this is um, quite a complex download only because, or install, is because it's not explained well on the um, forum and that. It's just not explained well. It took me like, I mean, I tried down installing this, uh, this is just our X.11 folder, but I tried installing these and that like, a while ago, like six months ago and try to install them onto X point and it just couldn't get it to work just because I didn't know how to do it because it didn't explain it well so anyway go to your X plane directory go to custom scenery alright and you wanna put this in which is the photo scenery auto gen and then just move it in here there you go and then what you want to do is you want to go to X Point, Resources, Default Scenery, A Thousand Roads, copy it, and then paste it into Custom Scenery. This will allow us to edit it and get rid of the roads. So put the roads in here. Photo Scenery is pretty simple, we'll do that soon, but we'll start off with the A Thousand Roads. Alright, it'll come with these well it won't come, you already have it, but in there will be these um, PNGs and then you want to open, not this one, but road textures for photo scenery, open that and these are the files you need uh, right so basically how are we going to do this put this one here and then make it a little bit shorter some folders at the bottom you don't need. Make that one sure. Yeah. That should do. Like so. Right. Anyway, so this is the folder that you just opened. This is the. Uh, no, this is the folder that you just opened here. This is your X Point Custom Scenery a Thousand Roads. And then in that A Thousand Roads, there's the textures. So. Custom scenery, thousand roads, textures. Right, anyway, 
So you want to find these files in here and delete them so that you can replace them with transparent ones and then that will get rid of the roads and then we'll do the driveways to get rid of them and then you should just open the sim and it should work but the only problem with this I found is that if you have these installed at night you won't get HDR lighting so I have to just take these two folders out of my X-Plane if I want to go at night if I want to fly around at night just so it will look better and I'll get HDR lighting then and then put them back in at daytime. So, cause residential dry EU. We'll find that. Cause residential dry EU. We'll delete that. Or well, what I do normally is hold control and you can just select them, select things. Alright, so cause resident residential dry EU, which is that one. Cause residential dry US. That one. And then. Plugins or plugs residential EU, which is oops, plugs re residential EU, that one, and after that, plugs residential EU CTL, which is that, and then plugs residential US, that one, and then plugs residential US CTL. Alright, and then we've got these six files or PNGs, and then just right click them press delete right and then from the road textures for photo scenery drag them and copy them into your custom scenery thousand roads textures in x plane 11 right there we go we have done the roads that is done okay so now for the photo scenery auto gen all right let's get the hard part over first right so go to uh, where am I here right so x plane custom scenery photo scenery auto gen which is what you put in before EU and then go to textures on this one and if we can find it I think it's that one let me see uh, A or B Because I don't really normally do EU stuff, but I'm pretty sure it's that one and that one. This is the main one here. Not what's going on here. We've got like it won't open. Anyway, if that just stops, <laughs> right? So this is the folder. Yep, now it opens, okay, whatever. Doesn't need to open so much. So, this folder. And what you're going to do for the EU, ha I haven't made a download link for the e EU, but I have for the US. We'll do that after this one. But if you go to this website, lunapick.com slash editor, go to that website and you want to choose a file and you want to go to your um, X plane directory if I go to my desktop x.11 backup files alright and then so custom scenery photo scenery auto gen EU textures and it was this one now EU sub 1 GND ALB you want to open that Alright, and it should open on here. It'll sh it'll show up with a picture of what you've opened, which is this. This is what it is. The well, you can see these are all the driveways that would go into the road. What you want to do is you want to go and edit all the way to the bottom, transparent background. Alright, now you click that, so that one, and then you click the image. Alright, and then transparency. 100, oh not 150, you'd think it would be 100. And that should be set, I'm not sure, hang on. Save image as, well just anywhere really, I mean they'll do. 
Why is it? Oh, it's. Hang on, can we? Because we want to do it with the houses, don't we? So I'm not sure which. Alright, so now, now you've done that, so just cop save the image and then take this here. Delete that. Replace it with a new one. Or, what you can do is that, but if that doesn't work for you, then I have luckily made downloads here for you to download. So just download this. So, download. And then go to that one and download. Okay, and these will be here. Just put them here. So one there and one there. All right. And what you can do, if that doesn't work, is just copy one of them here. And you want to rename it to the folder it was. So if you do this get back the file and then rename and then just copy it right, right and then you can delete it again and then folders just one I have no idea why okay so drag anyone in doesn't really matter which copy it in not, dra not uh, move it right rename it and then paste what you just did and then there you go it's invisible and that should get rid of the driveways for the EU. Now we're going to do the uh, US, which is a whole lot easier. So you want to just go to the same place again, custom scenery, photo scenery, auto gen, US, and then suburban textures. Alright, all you need to do in this one is that one and that one, delete, and then replace them with these. You can move them in that way. If you go back and then go back on it, they should be there. If you open them, well, they're just like little outlines. So you can download them. I'll put them in the description. I'll put every single uh, one of these in the description. All of these. And then you should be done. But like I said, if you do want to, um, you can delete these now. There you go. But if you do want to use this at night, um, with these roads, then you'll have to search that up because I really don't know how to do that. But if you just um, want to use night time, what I would do is take these two and just move them to the desktop. Like so. There you go. You can go on X play night time and you'll have HDR. And then when you play daytime, uh, you can go on here put these back into your exploring custom scenery and there you go and then you've got the roads again on the um oh what was it called if i go to my actual exploring uh yeah scenery packs .ini file this what i've done is put these two at the top for me it hasn't come up with an error that's where they should be but if it just comes up with like can't read the file, don't worry about that, just press accept or OK, whatever it is, continue. And then it should just still load, it should be fine. But if not, put these two files in the middle here. So above all your like orthos and that, but below your airports. and basically that's all really you have to do it's pretty easy but it's really hard explaining and stuff like on the websites they didn't really do a good job of that so that's why i decided to make a video on to do it and yeah so i'll just remind you again all of these 
websites will be in the description below to download all of these files. The website I was telling you to go to to get the transparent thing, you don't need. Just download these and then go to your X.11 and then go to custom scenery, photo scenery. So EU, you want to just get one of the files, any one that you've downloaded off me, one of these can be either one, download it, put it on your desktop, get the name of this, this name, copy the name and put it onto the file here that you have that's invisible, the invisible one, transparent, and paste the name onto that and delete this file and then put the transparent one on so that you can get rid of the driveways for the EU and then US it's pretty easy it's just them two which is the ones that you've downloaded off me you don't have to change the name off them at all uh, but what you do need to do is just delete these two and then put the transparent ones in which is these two because we've done that already. So, yep, hope you enjoyed the video and that hopefully made it a lot more easier for you to download uh, scenery like this. Because it looks so much better. So, I'll see you in the next video, I guess.